Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I don't really have like any bullet points for today. I just wanna talk like from my heart because I feel quite strongly about this. So the title is, why does it seem like everybody has anxiety? Like why, why does it seem like nowadays everyone is struggling with anxiety? So I think the first thing I do wanna mention is that I only heard the word depression and anxiety when I was about maybe 14 years old. Those two things I suffered with mainly depression but I didn't know the word for it like I thought I was just really really sad um, nowadays kids who are 14 I think kids that are even younger they're aware of what anxiety is and they're they are aware of what depression is but it's really only come apparent in most recent times um, I'm 22 years old back when I was in school nobody said oh i have anxiety oh it's hurting my anxiety i've never heard one of my friends in my high schools in any of my schools be like oh i'm just really anxious or oh i'm going through anxiety i heard depressed maybe when i was 16 17 and um, that's when i started to hear like oh i'm going through depression or i'm depressed and that's when i like was familiar with the term but anxiety has only really become apparent in the past like five years in my opinion um or at least where i grew up from what i know even being on like the internet my opinion the reason why anxiety is so much more apparent is one we have more resources to learn about mental health um, mental illnesses mental disorders whatever you want to call it um nowadays it's becoming more socially acceptable to see a counselor a psychiatrist a psychologist in fact it's mostly suggested if you you know want to figure out what's wrong in your head um, to go seek professional help especially now that we have a lot of mental health awareness resources mental health awareness month um, and the talk about mental health is more apparent in school I don't remember a single time where we talked about mental health I remember talking about eating disorders but I don't remember talking about mental health it's quite obvious that a lot of people in the world are struggling with mental health whether that's you know anxiety depression BPD bipolar whatever it might may be doctors and certain psychiatrists or learning more about psychological issues um, and it is only really like come forward to the public to be more accepting or be more aware of these issues so first of all anxiety has been around for a really long time just because I haven't heard of the word or because you've only heard of the word recently or only because it's been apparent now doesn't mean that it hasn't been around. I know people who has had anxiety for over 30 years. It is very, very like common these days and not so common those days. The reason why the statistics for anxiety has risen so much over the past five years is because at the time, back then, many years ago, decades ago, it wasn't easily diagnosed. Um, it, a lot of the time it was kind of just like, you know, swept under the rug. It was just like, oh, you're just nervous or oh, like you're just a shy person, um, et cetera, et cetera. Another main reason why I think a lot of people are suffering with anxiety is because the world is slowly becoming more and more overpopulated. And as we grow in population, there's more competition between us individuals. You know what I mean? When you think about it, like technically, if there's more people, there's less food, there's less land, rent is more expensive, um, more people are going to colleges so it's harder to get into college. We're expected to do so much, even like at a young age, by the time we are five, our parents ask us what do you want to be when you grow up we have always had expectations on us conditioned that there is one successful way and anything else is not successful we are heavily pressured to be the perfect citizen um, heavily pressured to be the perfect student the education system is also so faulty that it ends up making kids more anxious for example over in asia where i grew up in taiwan in some schools some universities some colleges when they give out you know like grade reports they actually put up like shields i didn't explain this well but they put barricades on balconies at colleges because some students when they don't get the grades that they want they end up throwing themselves off a building i was working with a local and he went to college and i remember one time he came to work and he was really upset and i asked him why he was really upset and he said that he saw someone jumped off the like balcony of the school because they found out their grades and it wasn't good enough there is such a high pressure to get the perfect grades um, in some cultures that if they don't get those perfect grades, they end up just like, they give up on their life. They're like, there's nothing, nothing's gonna work for me. And it's so, so, so sad. It's honestly so sad to see that like, 
people think that their grades is what their life is going to be. If they don't get those good grades, how are they going to be a doctor? How are they going to be a lawyer? And to them, that's their whole world. When in reality, there's so much more to the world than your job, than the car you drive, than your family, than the school you go to, than the grades you get. There's so much more to life than, than that. So of course, putting all this pressure on young teenagers, on young kids even, it slowly makes them develop anxiety because they're so worried about their future. I always say that, you know, if you're worried too much about your past, stuck in your past, always thinking about, I could have done better, I could have done this, it is a, you know, symptom of depression of just always like focusing on the past. And anxiety is always focusing on the future, being like, what happens if this, what happens if a tree falls over my house, what happens if I get robbed, what happens if this happens, you know? So we're, when you're always thinking about the future, because since you were a kid, your parents were like, what are you going to do when you grow up? What job do you want to get? What school do you want to go to? What university do you want to go to? How many kids do you want to have? Always like really putting pressure on kids to be like you have to be a doctor like i even remember no hate on my mom i re even remember saying to her when i was younger i want to be a hairdresser and she was like you're not gonna make enough money doing that and i just like stopped caring about wanting to do hair because i was like that's not good enough apparently and so we're stuck in this this mindset in this time of age where we have to be absolutely perfect. Even on Instagram, look at all your favorite Instagrammers. They're face tuning themselves. They're making themselves look beyond perfect Barbie dolls. And then you open up social media and you see, oh, my other friend just got a house and they're only 21. They just put a payment for a house. My other friend is a lawyer. My other friend is fucking gorgeous. She's a swimsuit model. And it's just like so much like competition in general whether that's like competition within yourself to always like want to be better and nothing's ever good enough, um, which can be, you know, good and harmful in many ways. But also, you know, we are so connected to each other. It's a lot easier for us to compare to each other with social media. Back in the day, like centuries ago, the people you knew were like your neighbors, like the people from your town, a good maybe 200 people. Now we can know thousands i follow a thousand people on instagram that means i know at least a thousand people um even if it's not like face to face like you know so many people that's so many people to compare yourself to it's just so much information like these days we have so much information it's almost overwhelming i can see why everyone is struggling with anxiety because there's so much overwhelming information i have one friend who has a type of anxiety i don't know what it's called where they think everything is like going to kill them um medically wise like kind of like a germaphobe they're so scared that they're going to die from like touching a pole they must be going through hell right now i've got to check in on them because of the whole corona thing but like because there's so many people like they can't go on the bus like they can't go on the train um because there's so many people um they don't like to go shopping stuff like that they end up just like closing themselves off to the world because there's just like so much going on i can totally like understand and just like let me just let you guys know that like this is just coming from like my personal view on the world my personal opinions there is no fact sheet next to me there is no like statistics next to me so do feel free to correct me if i'm wrong on any point or feel free to rebuttal me in the comments below or feel free to agree with me below this is just like my personal perspective and i've also was diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder but I don't identify with having anxiety anymore like I haven't had an anxiety attack in many years um, or at least like one that wasn't related to like a very traumatic event I think it's totally normal if like your pets die your family dies to like freak the fuck out and have like a crazy like anxious episode or whatever it's called I think that's like normal you know most people will react like that but if you're experiencing anxiety every day constantly thinking about the future constantly being worried about your life about where you're going with your life which ends up making you just stay at home do nothing with your life and then you're like oh my god i'm doing nothing with my life i'm never gonna be good enough like i fucking feel you guys like i fucking feel you guys and so many people are experiencing this at the moment so i have some links in the description below for how to deal with anxiety and i will try make a video on how to deal with anxiety as well um also look into grounding grounding helped me when i was going through anxiety grounding is basically when you kind of focus on the present moment it's kind of like a form of meditation where you like 
think about what you feel, what you smell, what you hear, what you taste, what you see, and it kind of just like helps put you in the present moment. I think when I had anxiety attacks, my mind went from everybody's looking at me, like what happens if I can't get up off the floor? How am I gonna get home? Like how am I gonna recover from this? It was all like thinking about the future instead of being like, like reeling into the present and realizing, dude, I'm breathing. Like, I'm fine. I've got two feet. I got a brain. I got legs. Like, I'm fine. Like, focusing on being grateful that, like, you're still here, um, not being too hard on yourself. So, I am kind of speaking so fast because my phone is about to die in any minute. These are, like, my main points on why I think anxiety is so apparent these days and so like noticeable why does it seem like everybody has anxiety um also know that back then it wasn't socially acceptable to say that you have this mental disorder or this mental health issue or whatever it wasn't really acceptable so people didn't really talk about it now that everybody's talking about it now that everybody's opening up about it it's easier to say hey actually i do struggle with this as well too and that's also another reason why it seems like everyone has it these days it's just become more socially acceptable to talk about those are the things i wanted to touch on like first point which is like it wasn't really easily diagnosable at the time second point which is you know we're held to such a high standard we're always expected to be like you know perfect we have such high expectations put onto us through our conditioning since we were children and that's why when we've grown up now we're like wow i have to be this like I have to be this absolutely, I have to be this absolutely perfect person and you're so overly critical of yourself, overly cautious, overly critical of the world, the outside world. You know, now we're becoming more accepting of our mental health struggles and so now it's easier to like talk about them. The reason why I think social media also like doesn't help with people's personal anxiety is that for some people it can decrease their confidence because they're not spending time on themselves, they're not learning to trust themselves, they're going on Instagram, comparing themselves to other people, comparing their lives to other people on Facebook. And so when you decrease your confidence, you don't trust yourself so much, which doesn't help anxiety. Obviously, it's not like all about anxiety, but personally for me, what helped me get over anxiety was trusting myself. Once I learned to trust myself, once I knew that I, you know, I'm a smart individual, if I'm out on the streets, I know how to take care of myself. I'm street smart, I guess. Um, when I went to parties, uh, I trusted myself. I knew I'm a good person. I can make friends. I know that if someone doesn't want to be my friend, who cares because I'm a, I'm my best friend, I'm my biggest friend. Um, so when I learned to trust myself, it helped me be less socially anxious because I didn't have to chase anybody and naturally when you're really chill and like you are confident, you attract the nice kind of friends that you want, that you deserve to have. Um, when it came to like going outside, because I had a lot of issues with going outside um, when I was really deep in my anxiety, when I really trusted myself, I knew that, hey, like I'm a smart person. Like I know I'm not just gonna like put myself in a bad situation. I trust myself to like vibe out the situation if I'm in someone's house and they're being a bit dodgy, like or one of their friends are being a bit dodgy. Like I trust myself to step away from that. Like I trust myself to like figure out what's a good situation and what's a bad situation that could potentially hurt me or put me in harm. I learned to be more confident in myself, which means that I never really like compare myself to other people, which made me more confident with what I was doing with my life. You know, if I tell like the older generation that I make money online, they're gonna be like, so basically you need to go to college and get a real job. I'm co confident enough to not let that affect me, not let that hurt me. So I don't feel anxious being around older people because when they ask me what my job is, I'm like, yeah, this is what I do. Whatever, you know what I mean? But okay. I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will put all the links in the description below. Bye! Whoa, 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 wait. I forgot to do the quote of the day. So this is the quote of the day. Thank you so much for commenting. And if you want to be featured in next week's quote of the day, please leave a comment on your favorite quote. And I also got to say that I'm going on holiday for three weeks. I don't know if I'm going to be posting videos before then. It kind of depends if I have internet at my hotel or not. And also huge shout out for this edit slash animation made. It was so cute. Thank you so much for doing that.